Hey folks, this is Price is Wrong, and um, I'm getting ready to unbox my Puget Systems gaming PC. Been waiting for this for a long time. Hey folks, it's Price is Wrong. A lot of you guys know that I've been wanting a new gaming PC for a long time, and a lot of you guys know that I, uh, um, I ordered one. I went ahead and put it on. I got one from Puget Systems. I just want to say this freaking box is a monster. I got a tape measure right here, and um, here we go right here. It's just under 30 inches. It's 29 and a half inches tall, uh, deep. We got uh, 17 and a half inches, and uh, oh, I guess I should be doing wide too, right? So wide. Right here we got um, 25 and a half inches. A really freaking big box. Let me go ahead and open this sucker up. <clears throat> well, monster boxes need monster scissors. I'm going to see. Uh, hopefully, these are monster enough to crack this bad boy open. I know a lot of people would just use a pocket knife, but I know I've got one somewhere. Actually, I keep one in my laptop bag, but my laptop bag's at work. So, I'm having to rely on this. Probably could have grabbed a machete or something from my son's room, whether or not he actually has one. He probably would have got a kick out of that. But you see, these are, this are pretty good. First thing in here, believe it or not, is instructions for unpacking my system. How's that for cool? Uh, it says cut the tape on the top. You know, I'm, I'm glad that I, I opened it up on the right side. Now I got it, it says I need to flip the box over gently and then pull the box up. Okay, I guess. I might not have figured that out on my own. Alright. Now here we have a, uh, a much smaller box. I could probably hide a family member in that one. Alright. So, uh, that. This box here, let me grab the tape measure again. Alright, so this is the Fractal, Good, Fractal Design R Committee R2 case. Alright, this box is quite a bit smaller. We're down to two feet by 22 inches uh, by 13 inches. Much, much uh, smaller box.
guessing uh, I don't see any uh, instructions on how to open this box, but uh, the first thing I see right out of the get-go is the uh, front of my new computer. There's the front. All right. I'm going to open it up the same way, though, as I did the other, by just flipping it over onto the top and then pulling the box up. Cool picture of my case. And uh, so here we go. Just in case I have to ship anything back, obviously I'm going to hold on to as much of this pack packaging as I can. Um, this is the back. The bottom is exposed down here with the bag. Let me just tip it up and get that going right there. And uh, give it a flip. All right. Much, much smaller. So we have uh, covering on the window here on the side. I don't have any lights. I didn't get any light kits with this. Um, it was an option, but it was an option I passed on. Um, uh, across the top, we have like the USB ports, headphone jack, microphone jack. Of course, the power button's right here. Um, I'm not sure what this is right here. So something about Volt. So I have to figure that out later. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll get what it is later. But reset button's right here. And uh, I know there's uh, uh, extra ventilation here underneath as well. But anyway, um, I think there's going to be more steps, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I've watched a lot of Puget Systems videos. And as I recall there's like packing that's inside the door that I'm going to need to remove. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and do that. We've got two thumb screws on the back. They don't seem to come out, come all the way out. I guess they're like spring loaded or something or other. Uh, this is the inside. I got the new uh, G GTX, this is the 1070. I didn't get the 1080. I got the standard two terabyte hard drive and um, I got a solid state drive in here too that's all the way on the very bottom. That's 500 gig. And, uh, hmm. I was looking for some extra packing stuff in here. I thought they had like shields. Oh, there it is. Right here on the back. I don't know if that's something I need to take out or not, but there's like a uh, an extra thing they put in here for packing. So maybe I need to look into that. It's basically supposed to keep uh, help support the weight of the video card while it's shipping. That way it's not bouncing all over the place and damaging the uh, motherboard. Um, if it's not something that I have to pull out, I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to let it stay in there. Uh, can you see that in there, babe? Mm -hmm. All right, so just basically like a little glass uh, um, attachment in there. It looks like glass. I'm sure it's plastic though. But anyway, and there it is. It's looking good. Looking real good. Um, I think uh, I'm going to go try to power this sucker up, and uh, um, I'm going to get it hooked up to my capture card so you guys will get everything. Here's a better picture of the video card support guard that Puget Systems manufactured for my computer. All right. Well, uh, there's one more box that was in the box on top of the computer. Uh, I'm not quite sure what's in it yet. Uh, there is a sticker on here that says, uh, what is all this stuff? And it's got a picture of nuts and bolts on it. Uh, it says, when we build your computer, we save every last piece and send it out along to you. That way you have everything you would love uh, you would have if you built the computer yourself. You may not ever use some of the cable screws pieces in this package, but we still pass them along just in case. If you have any questions about what a particular piece is for, we're happy to answer your questions. And then it's just a sign right here from Puget Custom Computer saying, please save your packaging materials, your packing materials. And, uh, and uh, let me see. 
So uh, it, it keeps the white exterior shipment box. Once we need to hold onto that, the eight foam corners, the interior manufacturer box, and the manufacturer star foam molded packaging. It wants me to keep all of that. Um, let's see here. Okay, so in here, um, I guess there's a picture of my computer, information booklet, little folder. Um, it's got pictures of the guys. I guess uh, William George, I know he's the guy that I spoke with. Uh, when I ordered my computer, he's the guy that took care of me, answered my questions. Um, looks like I have the, uh, uh, I guess there's just all kinds of other instructions in here. There's pictures, thermal pictures and all that of my computer, which they actually did email me these four pictures as well. I got all these via email um, after they built my computer. Um, documentation for my motherboard a whole bunch of support type questions and starter guides, checklists, who built my computer. Uh, it looks like two different people. Uh, well, one person did the build, one person helped with the testing is what it looks like. Actually, a lot of testing. This is pretty awesome. Temperature benchmarks. Uh, that's this is one of the reasons why I uh, I wanted to go with Puget Systems uh, for my next computers because they do uh, all of the testing and all that quality is a really big is really important to them. They want to check everything out before they put it in the mail. They don't want you to receive it and then have an issue and have to send it right back. Um, that's not very efficient. Um, in the in the end, I guess it's pretty much all the same thing. But in the end, there is a USB drive in there. That's supposed to assist, I guess, with the uh, recovery. And of course, my Windows 10 uh, disk is in here as well. And uh, oh, I got some more stuff. I got the motherboard stuff, uh, DVD, um, some other stuff, I guess, that came with my graphics card and all that. So these are all discs that came with my uh, the different hardware pieces that I got. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then also in here, I have my motherboard manual. All the cables, extra cables that came with my computer, some extra screws, and uh, it's like a lot of stuff I need to hold on to. And of course, the power cord. You need to have the power cord. That's it. So, that was everything that came with my computer. Okay, folks. Um, well, here, here's my computer. Uh, a lot of you guys know that I do quite a bit of streaming, and uh, so this is my little sort of kind of a makeshift studio. Uh, basically, it's just a common area in the house. And uh, my wife let me put up a green screen that takes up a lot of space, so I'm very appreciative. But anyway, uh, here's my computer. This is almost where it's gonna be sitting um, when, I'm, uh, when I'm done, uh, almost. Um, on the back back here, I do have my, uh, my video card. I have a lot of the, the inputs um, for my new computer. Uh, of course, the power supply is on the bottom. Um, I'm probably pretty much going to be doing an HDMI out of here um, off the video card. This is what my current plan is. I'm going to do an HDMI from here to my, I got an HDMI switch that goes into uh, the capture card on my computer way over yonder. And, um, and uh, so basically everything uh, that's, you know, that, that comes out of this video card should be going across my other computer, my capture card. So. Um, I should be able to capture everything. That's what I plan on doing next. Um, is is actually when I boot this thing up, I'm going to try capturing everything and attaching it to this video. I actually kind of procrastinated a little bit. Um, I I completely forgot to record the first boot up. Um, I did change the wallpaper. I've basically got my own custom folder now that I'm using for wallpaper, and it rotates every minute. Um, I do that for my stream. You know, sometimes if just my screen's up, people like to see what games I have installed, that kind of thing. So. Let me go ahead and just do a really quick reboot on this guy, just so um, you can see what it looks like when it starts up. I did procrastinate a bit. I actually got my computer back in August. Now it's October, almost the end. October's almost over. So yeah, I procrastinated a little bit uh, recording this video. But there it is, 16 gigs of RAM, 500 gig SSD, It is uh, 
pretty fast, pretty fast on a uh, boot up. I do have another computer that um, uh, that has a, uh, a SSD drive in it about half that size. I think it may boot up just a little bit quicker, but uh, it may be because of the size of the drive. But there it is. That's my my new Puget Systems PC. Uh, I, I'm loving it. I'm loving this computer. It's been a great experience having it so far, and um, you know I'm I'm getting a lot closer to this setup uh, that I, I really really want. Uh, getting a lot closer uh, to it's definitely helping me provide a much better experience for my viewers. So um, I'm very appreciative. Thanks everybody for watching my video. Um, please give me a like, subscribe, and uh, if you want to follow me on Facebook, you can at uh, price.battlevortex.tv, and um, uh, hopefully uh, get you as a viewer soon. Take care.